Hi guys, today's video is a contact lens review. These are from the company Bu Longuiz, I think is how you say it. I did actually try to research that, but everyone seemed to say something different and it wasn't on Google Translate, so I was left hanging a little bit. <laughs> I did try. Um, so yeah, I'll leave all the links for the company down below, any social media, that kind of thing, and all the information that I talk about I would include down below as well. Um, but basically they asked to send me some contact lenses, uh, so I got two. They chose the colours and stuff, so these are just what I was sent. I was sent the Fresh Tone Supernaturals in Jasmine, and also the Fresh Tone Supernaturals in Aqua Blue. So I did search pricing for you guys, so it's $51.34 New Zealand dollars. Um, Great British Pound is £26.48. Well, <laughs> um, US dollars is 35 and Australian is 46 26 The reason I picked those countries is that's where my viewers are mostly from, so... <laughs> Um, shipping, it said it took three to six weeks and it varies by country. Um, uh, US, sorry, you get five to seven business days, which is really good. <laughs> um, what else is on here? I tried to look at a few things for you guys to give you a bit more information. Um, it says that they last one month after opening. Now that's really odd. I'm, as I said, I do use a lot of contact lenses and I've never seen something that only lasts as long as you open it. That seems really bizarre. Typically it's you get like a month of wear, so you get to wear your lenses like 28 to 30 times. Um, you just have to keep track of when you opened it and how many times you've worn them and things and just really look after them. So it's, it's quite odd that that's that's what it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to put you wrong saying you can wear them for a month, like 28 wears, um, but yeah, I just think that's a bit, a, bit, a bit odd. Anyway, the contact lenses came in a box that looks like this. So, I mean, just plain brown packaging, just little boxes. Um, it tells you the like color and stuff on the end and when they expire and, and what the like what they are. So it just says. Um, Jasmine, you guys can't see, it's not an autofocus camera. Um, it just says, yeah, One Tone Supernaturals Jasmine. Um, these are not prescription. I do actually get prescription contact lenses, so I'm a little bit... I mean, I don't mind. It was obviously sent to me just to review, but um, if I was to purchase these, I would wear them with a prescription. I'd buy them with a prescription. You can buy the contacts with a prescription. I did see that online they had them. I'm just not sure if they're across all brands. Um, in fact, when I went to go put these in my cart just to see what I could do, I don't, I don't think these ones come in a prescription at all. So for me, I'd have to wear them with glasses if I wanted to wear them. Um, yeah, they also come in, like, this is the actual packaging that the contact lens comes in. So if you guys wear contacts, they either come in, like, the wee vials or these, and this is what these ones come in. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, they sent me the little business card thing here, so that's just... Um, the little slogan, I think. It says, accentuate your eyes with lenses from boulanguise.com. That's that. And I also got a free lens thing with the product as well. Um, there was actually a wee box. Like, you know how you, when you... I can't find it. When there's like the lenses you get sent, um, sometimes you get like the wee box and it has like the... The like tweezers to pull off your lenses and things like that. And, and like the wee solution container. <laughs> that was all there. I just... I'm not sure where that's gone. Um, I'm sure it's in my bathroom somewhere. But yeah, so without further ado, I hate when people say that. I'm not going to say that. That was terrible. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom in on my eyes so you can see my natural eye colour. Across all my videos, everyone's like, ah, Ellie, you don't have dark eyes. And I'm not... My eyes change, okay? I have got like... I don't know. They are like... They're green at the moment. They've got like a warm tone towards the centre, like a brownish tone. So they're hazel, I guess is what you'd call my eyes, but they can go super light green and they can also look very brown sometimes as well. Um, it's quite, it's like the afternoon, it's 3.30 at the moment, the sun's kind of like over there somewhere. Um, I am sitting in front of a window, but the sun's not on me completely, so my eyes are not going to look as green as some videos. If you go look at my other videos, I will link my other contact lens down video, uh, videos down below. You'll see my eyes are very green. Um, so yeah, I usually say my eyes are dark. Let's just call them medium to make everybody happy. Okay, I will zoom in for you. So this is my natural eye colour. Um, if I was to turn the lighting up on my camera, you can see that they are, in fact, a greenish shade. It's just the lighting I'm sitting in, and unfortunately, I can't help that. So I will play with the lighting when I've got the contacts on my eyes so you guys can see them properly but this is my natural eye color okay so the first lenses I'm gonna try are gonna be the um, the fresh tone supernaturals in aqua blue it's got my wee mirror here so I'll just apply those so you guys can see them on they feel like quite a thick um, 
material. If you guys want to know what they're all made of and stuff, you can jump online and have a look. Um, make sure it's facing the right way. So just having a look in the mirror. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, I've turned the lighting um, up just a little bit as I zoomed in. So I've just grabbed a handheld mirror so I can have a really good look. It covers my eye colour really well. It just gives me the goat effect in the middle of my eyes, if you can see. Um, I don't feel them shifting. If you can see them shifting, then... Yeah, I can't feel them shifting. Um, they seem really comfortable at the moment. Now, I have not worn these for a long period of time. If you would like, I can test it out and update them down below. Just ask if it's something you want to see or want to hear about. But because they're not prescription, I don't plan on wearing these for a long period of time. These will purely be for makeup looks and stuff for me. Um, I am impressed with how they cover. Um, as you can see, my natural eye has a limbal ring. So it does cover that and kind of give it a bit of its own limbal ring effect. But I just don't like the goat effect. And also the colour is not very natural at all. But all in all, I mean, it does re a really good job of blocking out my eye colour. So I don't know how it looks far back to you guys. That's kind of further back. I don't know what you guys think when it's further back. I can zoom out again for you. Yeah, I don't know what you guys think. Um, all in all, I mean, it's up to you. And, and I guess it's your personal preference what you like in a contact lens. But even further back for me, the colour is really just not natural at all. I don't know. Maybe it's my hair colour. Just because I've got warm coloured hair, maybe it just accentuates the blue, I guess, and makes it really intense. I think maybe someone with blonde hair, or I don't know, maybe it looks different with someone with like different coloured hair. Sorry, I kept looking in the viewfinder because obviously it's contact lenses I quite like. <laughs> I like to see what you guys can see, but it's, um, I don't know, it's so far really comfortable. Really comfortable. As I said, I'm probably going to use these just for makeup looks and stuff. They are a pretty intense colour but I do like the, the the effect it has on my eyes just not the pupil so I'll zoom in for you so that's them up close I think my mind's made up I think they just look a little bit Halloweeny for me so what I think I'm gonna do is I actually do own the Solotica in Topazio I think it's called or Topaz so I will do a video of um, that comparison from that lens to this lens because there is quite a significant price difference So I will do that comparison So if you guys want to see that just subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notification a little bit sneaky I know um, but no seriously um, I will do that video in a couple of weeks or a week's time So you guys can see that difference if that's what you're interested in seeing is like Solotica versus these I think that's going to be the fairest comparison um, Those also look a little bit goaty on me as well, and I haven't actually worn them because of that so um, again, I'm, I'm more just comparing the um, the coverage of these lens to Solotica. I think these are very similar, very, very, very similar. It's just the colour I'm not so keen on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the Jasmine ones on now. Um, they feel like the same material, so nothing really new to report there. Oh, these are so much better. <laughs> I mean, the colour is still... Um, just don't think it suits my hair colour unfortunately but um, the colour is really nice it's um, oh my god this is going to not water, my eyes not watering I just put too much dilution in my eye oh. this one's a lot more subtle obviously, um, the colour is still not a natural colour or anything like that but I'm not looking for natural um, I like how this looks on my eyes I think this is really pretty um, it's done a really good job because I've got lighter or medium colored eyes um, it just it blends really nicely so I think this looks really quite cool uh, I will zoom in so you guys can see compar compared to my natural eye color so that is the comparison um, super comfortable no issues again I'm not doing a wear test on these but just comment down below if you want to see something else that I haven't included in this video feel free to do that and I'm happy to refilm I really like this color I think it is really pretty um, I can't feel it shifting, I can't see it shifting, though you guys might be able to, I'm just not catching it. Um, I really like this, I think this would look really pretty on a lot of different skin tones and people with different hair colours and stuff, but um, I think a lot of things are hard to match with copper. <laughs> um, I don't know, I just really like it.
that it's both in. I don't know, this one looks a lot more wearable than the last pair that I tried on. I really like the effect that it has. It definitely covers my eye colour, which is really nice. It's just a really nice blend. Um, again, the pupils are a little bit funny, but it's just not as obvious on this this these pair this pair. <laughs> It's a bit further back. I just, I don't know, I just think these are a lot more subtle, a lot more natural looking than the last pair. Um, these aren't Halloween-y or as Halloween-y. Um, they're a really pretty colour. Um, I think I've got a little bit of dirt under that one, it's a little bit uncomfortable, but um, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, that's the end of my video. If there's something that I've missed, just leave a comment down below. If you want me to refilm anything, more than happy to. Um, that's as much information as I got as well. I am not sure what else you guys would need to know, apart from obviously I've not worn this for a long time. So again, if that's something you want to see, just leave a comment. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are pretty comfortable so far. I just think I've got this either backwards or there's a little bit of dirt underneath because it's like seriously irritating my eyeball. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I think they're really pretty. I don't think I've got a colour that would be similar to this to do a comparison against, unfortunately, for Solotica. Um, so yeah, this is about as good as it gets. But for the contact lenses, I'm really impressed with this. I think these are definitely worth trying if Solotica is too expensive. Um, I can only comment now for the two that I've tried. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to have a look at the ones that have prescriptions. There's just no point in me wearing these without prescriptions. So these will look really nice in different tutorials though. So I'm quite happy to have these for my little my little makeup tutorials I'm going to start doing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my story. That's pretty much just contact lenses. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. I actually have another review coming for contact lenses from a different brand um, in a couple of weeks as long as they arrive on time. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.